With the haze possibly on the horizon again, a new locally developed market alternative to air filtration systems will soon hit the shelves. The indoor air filtration system was developed by a team at the National University of Singapore and is touted as being twice as effective as regular air purifiers. At first glance, it looks just like a regular fan. It's actually an air filtration system. It targets PM2.5, particles that are smaller than the width of a human hair. Short-term effects of inhaling such particles include eye and lung irritation. Longer term, it could lead to serious illnesses such as lung and bladder cancer. I was at home trying to innovate and protect my children from high haze exposure indoors and I realised quite quickly that there were no air purifiers left in the stores so I started playing around at home uh, with the fans I had and uh, basically came up with the basic system there and then and thought perhaps I can develop this further at the university. The system will be suitable for areas such as classrooms, homes and dormitories. It traps pollutants before recirculating clean air. It can do this 13 times an hour. 13 times more often than regular air purifiers. The NUS team took about 10 months to develop the system and that includes testing it in the harshest of environments. We decided to go over to Pakambaru in Riau province where a lot of the haze in Singapore comes from and worked in real haze conditions and quite sadly what we found was that in the school classroom children were working at levels of pollution up to nine times over the World Health Standard and that really spurred me on to develop the system and do something for them. And so, from the middle of next month, consumers will be able to purchase it online. It will be marketed and sold by AirRazor Technologies, an NUS spin-off company. Prices start from $150. Consumers also have the option of retrofitting existing fans for $50. So this is what's called an adapter. It's quite light, even though it's made up of two components, the cover on the outside and the filter on the inside. To begin with, it'll be available in 18 inches, and this allows the user to quite easily fit it onto any similar-sized stand fan. Stock will be healthy, just in case demand gets too hot. We are prepared. Um, in fact, we are bringing in the first 2,000 units <clears throat> with, an with the hope that it will fly off the shelves and we'll be ready with the next... Uh, thousands of units within the coming weeks. Yeah. So we are, we are hoping that we can uh, deliver about 100,000 a month. Next up for the company, developing masks that make air safe to breathe in, yet fit more comfortably than existing market options.